Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is recycling some old laptop batteries into a usable battery pack. So let's talk about these a little bit more. We actually got donated a whole bunch of these battery packs by a local company in Canterbury called Biotechnic. So thank you for that. And there's going to be a few batteries in here that are alive and there's going to be a few that are dead. So we're going to go at this like a bulldozer hitting a building because there's not a specific way that you're supposed to take these apart. So, let's get on with it. So I've extracted all of the 18650 batteries out of the laptop battery packs and now we've got to test them just to make sure that we've actually got some cells that are still alive and then we can determine which ones are dead. So before we do that, let's take a look at these. And these are also given to us by the same people. And these are flat lithium iron battery packs, which also come out of laptops. And you're going to see these more and more nowadays, just because devices are getting so thin. Right, so let's take these apart and test these as well. In total, we managed to get 50 18650s out of these laptop battery packs. And out of that, 24 of these, of these actually work, which is just under 50%, which is awesome. So now what I'm gonna do with these dead batteries is go take them to a local recycling place, which is actually at my local supermarket. So in total, I managed to pull 33 of these out of the battery packs, and out of the 33, 16 of these are alive and working. So now, let's build our 18650 battery pack. And there you have it, a complete 12 volt battery pack made from 18650s which is completely recycled including the nickel that I use to connect all of these cells up which is awesome! So before we test this we better make the other battery pack first so let's go and do that And there you have it, these are the flat lithium iron packs and these got four cells per pack and these are running at 12 volts each. So, we've got to connect these up into parallel so we can increase the amp hours. And once we've done that, we can actually try and run something off our 18650 pack, which is right here. And then, we can try and run something off our flat lithium pack as well. Right, so let's do that. And there you have it, I finished making up my two battery packs. And the flat lithium iron one is slightly smaller than my 18650. This one's rated 14 volts at 15.6 amp hours, whilst this one is 14 volts at 7.8 amp hours, which is pretty cool. So, when you make a battery pack like this, you're going to need a battery management system. But I didn't have one, so I've done something else, and I'm using a thermal cutout switch, which means when this battery pack hits around 40 degrees, it will just cut out, which does keep this relatively safe. Right, so now let's try and run something off this. So here is a close up of the positioning of the thermal cutout switch. Right, so the first pack that we're gonna be trying is this flat lithium iron one. And I've got this nice little 12 volt motor right here just to see that, just to make sure that it runs. 
So that's hold that. Then we'll connect that up. And there you go. So now I've got the same setup but on the 18650 pack and all we're going to do is connect it up in the same way and just make sure that this motor runs. So, let's grab hold of this. Would you take a look at that? And there you have it, two battery packs made from salvage laptop batteries. And to me, that is the true definition of recycling. So now I have two cute little battery packs that I can use for later projects if I need to do so. But just remember, do this at your own risk. With that being said, this does bring me to the end of the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.